We are in Cerro, New Mexico at the Walt Rivers Rio Grande and Norte National Monument. We're staying at the El Aquahe Campground, hopefully I say that right, for $7 a night and we're dry camping right here. There are large sites and your neighbors are quite a bit away and as you can also see it provides a shelter with a picnic table, barbecue grill and a fire ring and that's really a, a nice feature here. There are clean vault toilets or pit toilets also, dumpsters and a water spigot. There's not a dump station though. Come on, let's go. This is now marker 26. 26. Here we are on the North Ponyol Creek in Valvadel. We're here to search for forest fins treasure today. It is part of our wanderlust, so it's pretty cool. Um, you know, as part of the poem, you know, what, what brought us here? You know, and when you look at clues in the poem, one of it is, um, as I've gone alone in there, and let me tell you, there is nobody around here, so he definitely would have gone in here alone. And, uh, and with his treasures bold. And, um, you know, he brought his treasures in here. And he talked about treasures new and old. Uh, the new treasures could be his. The old treasures are what lies down this road, which is Ponyo Park. That used to be a logging and mining area back in the 1800s. And there's still some remnants of it there. Uh, one of the other clues is uh, if you've been wise and, and found the blaze. Um, you know, there, we believe there's some blazes here. Uh, I read an article that was from 1993 from uh, the LA Times, and they talked to the superintendent here, and he was talking about the really old Indian sites, and one of them is, is down this uh, little canyon here. And it's a little rock outcropping where they used to shelter underneath, and have fires in it while they hunted the elk that were here. So, um, you know, could uh, the elk be the home of the brown or the Indians? But it's pretty cool and there's also much farther out, uh, supposedly we saw a picture of a uh, fireplace that's out in an area just like what you see here all by itself. So um, there's possibly two blazes. So, um, we're going to uh, take a look and take a hike down here, and it should be kind of fun, and we'll just see where it leads us. All right, let's go. I'm better catch up with Bob. He said he saw something across there that he wants to check out. What do you think it is, Bob? Looks like an old uh, fireplace that has fallen down forward to me from the other side. Oh, there yeah. There must have been some sort of cabin here. Not a grave, is it? No. Yeah. See, it looks kind of flat out in front of this, too. Can you look at this? It's kind of flat out here. So oh, yeah. I bet you something was built on here. Yeah, probably this was at one of the cabins. Yeah. Hmm. Very cool. Another blaze? Well, hard to say. Should we take a look? Well, it says look quickly down. Yeah, there's lots of remnants of the old. In the past here. Just no treasure yet. Are you seeing anything up there? It's like a piece of uh, tin roof that had a hole cut in it. Now what, didn't we read that there was uh, a guy named Brown, which was a helper that stayed in one of these cabins to help out railroad here? Um, maybe he lived in here. 
Maybe that's why it said put him below the home of brown. Unless they're just talking about the Indians or the elk. Well, as Bob said, you got to be careful when you're out looking for treasure. You never know what you'll find. Looks like somebody just butchered the elk right here. Left the hide. And uh, took the antlers left the skull. Well, we have arrived here in Boneal Park, and uh, he made us a really cute, nice, beautiful little uh, graveyard here. Now, Forrest Finn said it's not in a graveyard, so we're not going in, we're not digging, but there is a really cool gravestone here. I'll take a picture of, and then we'll be respectful to the people that are here and the descendants and move on and uh, go see if we can find that blaze. All right. Definitely no paddle up your creek here. Uh, just enough, wide enough for Rocky to have some water here. Here are some pieces of the railroad track left that you can see right here outside of Poneal Park. So maybe that's um, just heavy loads. And I don't know about water high, but there is some railroad trestle that goes over a pretty deep gulch over here. kind of almost looked like a bird. Like if you've been wise. Now we just got to find the blaze. You going to go up in there? I'll call him. Rocky, come. Looks like there's some swallows. This is awesome. Definitely a blaze. Yeah, it looks like a nice sheltered place to hide out and wait for, you know, the elk or other game to come by. A good vantage point. Okay. There's soft sandstone on this side. Bob's going up. I will follow in just a sec here. This is not only a great bet place to hang out, but this would be a good treasure hiding place right here. This is the crossing of uh, Peniel Canyon and Sealy Canyon going this way here. And then we just came from the other way and the other places and the fireplaces that we saw photos of that we're going to go down to is down this canyon straight ahead too. All right, well, we're going to go look around a little bit and see if we can find Penn's treasure. Sure would be nice. Let's see what's in here. Move a few rocks here and see what we can find right here. Nothing there. Rocky is watching for us here. Okay, I'm gonna go up the hill and join Bob. I haven't heard Bob scream of excitement yet. There's a lot of little holes. I hear some banging. Ooh, better go look. You find something? Huh? Bob? I better go look. We're on 
top of uh, the little cave where they, they just had fires in it. And I was walking around up here and on that Ponderosa, right over there. Which one? Ponderosa, the large one there. Oh, uh, down there? Yeah, on the other side I saw FMM. -M. So I was going to say, oh, if it had two Fs, I'd be really excited. <laughs> and I said, well, you know, I'll just kind of look around up top here for a little bit. And I looked around and I found like a pile of rocks. And there was one large stone and other rocks piled around them. I said, well, I wonder what this was at one time. Maybe somebody had a fire. Or, you know, so I lifted it just to see what was underneath. And, of course, uh, no treasure. So we'll Aww. keep looking. Okay. We'll go check out the chimney that's down this canyon. And that's why they call it the thrill of the chase. Or at least that's why Finn called it the thrill of the chase. Sometimes the treasure is not in finding it, but the treasure is going to look for it in great places such as this. Well, this was well worth an afternoon. We uh, have fulfilled our one loss once again. I would say that this tale of the two blazes was wonderful for the thrill of the chase, but for an 80 year old man to go that way and come back twice in an afternoon with the amount of weight of Mom and I have decided that he either was a real tough guy or this was just a little bit too far. Don't go where an 80 year old man can't go. Anyway, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.